Today we are going to be replacing the def tank header on a Freightliner M2. Not too terrible of a job, but is a little extensive. First thing we have to do is drain the engine coolant. We're going to do this from the petcock drain on the radiator on the driver's side. It's a 10 millimeter hex or Allen. Don't be too rough with this fitting. It does break very easily, so I'm just going to break it loose with the ratchet give it a couple turns and we're going to once it starts draining you can go ahead and spin that with your finger it is very windy where I was doing this so that's why it's just spraying everywhere normally it's a pretty steady stream so don't worry it won't do that to you if it's not super windy when you're doing it but other than that we're gonna let that drain a little bit kind of fiddle with it try to get a good stream although the wind's not helping me a whole lot <clears throat> okay and we're going to move on from that and let that drain and we're going to go ahead and start on the header by disconnecting the main four pin header connector use a screwdriver or a pick and softly lift that I'm gonna take loosen these two bolts that way we can get the tank moved over just enough to get that header out because without moving that tank you're not gonna get that header out it's a 15 16 wrench and socket it's easier to reach the top bolt from the top and the bottom bolt from the bottom Okay, so we went ahead and loosened those two bolts. As you can see, the tank is loose. It's going to give us just enough room to pop that header off from the top in this tight space area that Freightliner loves to give you. So we're going to go ahead and pop the def lines off of the header. Not too hard. The way you do that is these white clips. Sometimes they can be a pain and be stuck but you're gonna pinch those clips down and they will open up on the inside and you'll lift up on the line to allow it to detach from the header connection. connection. And you just tuck those up out of the way. Go ahead and check. We're almost done draining now, so what we can go ahead and do is disconnect the coolant lines from the header. These little clips on these lines can be a bit of a pain, so just be easy with them. Try not to lose the clip. I like to try to pry from one side to get one side at a time. That seems to be the best way to do it. Let's go ahead and take off or unclip the other one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. This collar on the heater solenoid, we're going to go ahead and pop that off of this coolant line. Okay, now that that's off, we can now remove that line. It is going to drain a little bit of coolant, so I'm going to put something under there to catch it, just as I did right there. It's easier to pop the line off from the solenoid first. Just like that, and there goes my coolant. It won't be much, but it's enough to make a little bit of a mess. Now that that's disconnected from the heater solenoid, we can go ahead and rotate it and disconnect it from the header. Now we'll go ahead and grab that other line and we will go ahead and give it a little bit of a jiggle to get it popped off of there. It can be a little bit stuck at times. There we go. We're gonna try to tuck that off to the side because it will get cool. It'll slowly drip the whole time. You'll never get it stopped. We're gonna to try to tuck that off to the side so we don't get any coolant inside the def tank when we remove that header. I like to stuff a rag to try to catch as much as possible. We're gonna clean up some of this coolant from the top of the header, try to prevent it from getting down in the tank. Now we're gonna remove these six 10 millimeter bolts, all right? Now that those are removed, we can pry it over to the side 
and looks like it did give us just enough room keep that rag over that coolant line so it doesn't drip in the tank it will give you tension right there in the middle just yank it up just like that and it'll come loose go ahead and tilt it toward you because it is turned at a 90 degree at the bottom and there's our old def tank header there will be coolant in the header so go ahead and dump that out you won't dump any def out of the header okay we're just going to set that out of the way and get our new header and here is our new def tank header ready to go in went ahead and cleaned the ceiling surface because there is a gasket and good tip it does like to get pushed out on the new part so go ahead and push that back in to make sure it doesn't get pinched and we're going to go ahead put the bottom in first just like that the little filter at the bottom can be a pain you just have to move it inwards to clear that gap just like that and again right in the middle it's going to give you a little bit of tension just go ahead and pop it down just like that and we're going to pull our tank over to the side this is where loosening your tank really helps push that line out of the way and we are fully seated so we are going to go ahead and get all the bolts and lines reconnected. Just like that, we got all the bolts in, def lines on, coolant lines in. And I went ahead and tightened the two tank bracket mounting bolts. So we are nice and firm now. And also reconnected the connector. Now we just have to get the coolant back into the engine. And here we go, coolant is full. We're gonna leave this cap loose so we can start the engine and let any air get out of the system by running it to operating temp with that cap loose. Well, now let's check what we did. Key is on. Now that we replaced that header, our code for the level sensor circuit is now finally inactive. And we have def on the gauge when before it was just flashing red. Now this D-rate code will stay active until you start the engine and let it run for just a minute. And engine is started. So we're gonna watch this code right here. Cummins spec is about a minute for verification. It will just sit there and run and we'll watch that code and you will see it go inactive as soon as the verification is run and passed. It doesn't take too terribly long. I know it can be kind of boring sitting here staring at a screen, but I want you to see it actually go inactive. You can just clear codes, but there, it just went active. And that means we are good to go. Verification passed, we are still showing def on the gauge. Go ahead and clean your area. Clean all any spilt coolant. We're going to continue to run this engine up to operating temp to get any air out of the system. Then we're just going to top off that top off the coolant. We're good to go. Please like and subscribe.